Okay, so here are my melted oil. It's a mixture of coconut, olive oil, sunflower, and castor. And I have my lye water ready to go in. So I'm going to take this and carefully, carefully dump it into my crock pot, which I currently have set on low. Bring my camera into the crock pot. Not the best situation, but I don't have a tripod. See how that burns that in so much better. Alright, gotta watch for some splatting. So I'll keep doing this for a while and I'll come back when it starts to change consistency. Okay, now I don't know if you can tell. This is starting to thicken up a little bit already. It's only been about Oh, about five minutes or so. It's not real thick, but it's starting to get more cloudy. It has more of a milky consistency, heading on towards more of a buttermilk cream kind of consistency. And we're going to keep pulsing here and stirring this puppy up. Okay. We'll come back to this again in a few minutes. All right. Now this is really starting to get a little bit thicker. Definitely a heavier pudding consistency. Got a little bubble there. But um, they'll get to the point here soon probably where I won't be able to use the mixer anymore. Now to go back to my spatula and then my spoon. I have a heavy duty spoon I like to use. Stainless steel spoon I like to use for when it gets real thick. I don't know if I'll get a picture of this getting super thick instantaneously because I might have to move quickly to get that blender out of the soap. So I think you can see how thick that's getting, but it's really getting nice and thick. Okay. Alright, now I don't know what stage you'd call this, but maybe very thick pudding. That's where we're at now. I'm not sure how much longer I can I don't know how much longer I can use the stick blender, but I'll try and use it as long as possible because it does take longer with the spatula or spoon or whisk. Whisk would be a good idea, I guess, but if it really thickened up, I'd really hate to have to clean my whisk out. All that soap stuck in the tines and whatnot. But see how getting that's really getting gloppy? Starting to trace. See how different that is from cold process? It's crazy. Or hot process, even. Alright, I hope this trace is My uh, little one is upstairs waking up from her nap, so I need to get this cooking so I can go get her. It's only been about a minute or two since we last stopped, and I think I'm going to have to pull the blender out now because it's just starting to flutter because it's getting thick. So I'm going to take this out. Okay and start mixing with spatula. Okay. I mean, it's still pretty fluid, but it's definitely thickening up and it's definitely definitely not good for using the stick blender right now. See how gloppy that is. I still need it to keep All right, cooking. I've been stirring this for about five minutes or so and see how gloppy it's getting. A little more taffy-like, but not done. Right, just excuse the baby crying. My husband is changing her diapers, so see how thick this is getting. Still not quite there yet. Hopefully soon. It's been almost an hour. I had to stop a few times to tend to the little one. So it slowed the process down a little bit. And I could probably speed it up using a whisk, but I actually like using a spatula. I don't make as much of a mess. Whisks so I get raw soap everywhere, and that's not good. So, see how thick that's getting. Should firm up pretty soon. And soon is a very comparative, subjective, whatever term. I know the light's not very good in this kitchen, but the light's behind me, so I'm trying not to make a shadow. But see, really getting thick. I just, not quite at the tappy consistency. It's kind of just gloopy. And gloopy is a technical term. So 
so I'm going to keep stirring. Alright, just a quick pit stop here to show the consistency and show you how thick it does get. Not done yet, of course. Apparently my stopping a couple times really slowed it down, but we're getting there. Doing some stirring. Wish I could stir better one-handed. I gotta invest in a tripod. Yeah. There you go. My hope is to be able to get this to paste tonight and then put my paste in the fridge and then use what I need to dilute it. Um, I ordered a couple different thickeners to thicken up my soap. I usually get a nice clear soap with this recipe but it's not as thick as I would like for like a, a body wash. It's a little bit runny for me. I mean it's fine for a foamy dispenser but you know I, I want to have a nice body wash so I bought a couple different thickeners because I haven't had much success with salt water. Um, so anyway, when I make a video of thickening, I want to try making some soap with a salt water solution and then maybe a borax solution and then try a couple different other thickeners I ordered to see what works best for me and then show a video of it because frankly I didn't find any videos like that on the internet and it would have been helpful. But all right, all right. We'll we back. just suddenly reached a nice mashed potatoes consistency. It was taffy, 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 taffy for so long, and now it's nice, thick mashed potatoes. So it's pretty much ready to roll. Um, oh, kids are supposed to be getting ready for bed, but they are fussing, daddy. Anyway. Almost um, pretty much done. I'm going to stir just a little bit more, see how stiff I can get it, and then I will set it to cook. Should take about three or four hours to cook. Hopefully, not too much longer. My crock pot seems to run at a low temp, one low, but I think high would be too high. And there's no medium, so. Alright, but that's how it looks. Nice, thick mashed potato. Hard to stir. I want to have to get my stainless steel spoon out now because this little silicone spatula is not going to be able to handle it. But there we go. Blue cream helps it get better at that. Okay. <clears throat> this has been cooking for about an hour, and it's still a nice mashed potato consistency. Um, I think I might actually try turning up my crock pot a little bit just to see how it goes, and I'll keep an eye on it so I don't singe anything or cook it too fast, but just to see. I just think my low setting is just too cool, but I wish I had a medium setting, but anyway, I'm going to turn it up a little bit so we can speed this up just a smidge. I might have to go back and forth between low and high to kind of keep an eye on it. But anyway, so far so good, and we'll keep this posted. We're waiting until we get to a translucent stage, which should take another few hours. Okay, now we're getting ready to do some more stirring. It's about mm, an hour and a half into the cook, and it's starting to bubble up. It gets like that, get some air underneath of it. It might have separated a little bit. I'll have to give it a check. But there's, I don't know if you can tell through the glass, but there are already starting to get some Vaseline gel patches. I don't know if you can see it. I have I pointed out with my spoon. Right here, these little darker patches are actually parts that are starting to, oh, right over here along the edge, you can see where it's starting to turn to Vaseline. That's what we want. We want the whole thing to get nice and translucent like that. So I think turning it up on eye was really helpful. But now I'm going to stir it and see what we got going on underneath here. Hopefully it's uh, maybe just a little bit of separation there. But no, not really. It's just kind of fluffy. Mix that all in. Sorry for the squeaking. 
There we go. Alright, soap's getting translucent. It's been a while. It's cooking slowly. It always looks a little frothy at the bottom though. But I'm going to take some out and do a clarity test to see if it comes out clear so I can stop cooking it and then let it sit for the night. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop here for a second while I get my distilled water ready and measure out some soap. We're back. All right, from the clarity test, I measured out about, um, about I did about three ounces of distilled water boiling and then about an ounce of, oh, whoop, still hot, then about an ounce of the um, soap paste. And I'm going to mix it here and see if it comes out clear. And if it's clear, we're good. If not, I have to cook it longer. To start off with, I don't know if you can see that. I know. It's pretty clear. Nice and yellow. Nice light pale yellow. All liquid soaps made with um, fats and potassium hydroxide comes out with a light yellow, amber, dark gold color. Um, there's a couple little chunks in there, and it has a really nice, nice thick foam. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it's hot. Nice foam. The bubbles are kind of little because I uh, used a used this kind of little little whisk, which really gets the bubbles going. But in order to see the clarity a little bit better, you kick a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in there to get the bubbles to go away. And there you go. You can see. Right through there. Oop, still hot. Onto the countertop. You can see pretty clear. We can see the floor. See? Nice clear soap. So I have usually no problem getting a clear soap for my recipe. My issue always comes from always comes from so I'm gonna turn this off. Trying to thicken. For example, here's a soap I made. This is a soap I made few weeks ago and I fragranced it with lavender and mint essential oil. It got cloudy but I sequestered it and stuff and it's gotten clear again so good job. Well then I went and tried to thicken it with salt water. It did get thicker a little bit. I don't know if you can see how the viscosity in the jar compared to the watery stuff in there but I think I diluted it too much so the salt water was ineffective or at least not as effective as it should be so then I used too much. So this soap I'm saving for some foamer bottles that I ordered. I might have to thin it a little bit more to use the foamer bottles but I think it'll be fine in the long run. It's nice and pretty, nice and clear. You can see my refrigerator through it. Kids toys hanging on there. I mean there's a little bit of cloudiness to it but it's pretty good really. It's got some bubbles floating in it. But this this is cloudy and it's going to stay cloudy. So this is my personal body wash now because I don't want to give out my failures at the moment. <laughs> Even though liquid soap doesn't have to be clear, I would like it to be. Alright, well that's it for now. I'm going to let this paste sit overnight. I'm turning off the crock pot. Keep the lid on it so my kitty cats don't get curious. And tomorrow I will put it in a baggie and I will keep it in the fridge until my thickening agents come and then I'll have another video where I practice like four different types of thickening agents and solutions to see what works best for me. Sometimes you just gotta figure out what works best for your recipe and I like my recipe because it does make a nice clear soap. So far so good. Alright, thank you.